Um, Mr. Abdelaziz. Roland, let me say good morning to you. Let me say good morning to my colleague and also your cherished viewers. The issue of galamsey or illegal mining is something that we have described as a, a threat to our very existence. And so I would, I would resist the temptation to, 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 to engage in some politics of the NDC and the MPP. No, that's not what I'll do this morning. This is a matter that affects all of us. It doesn't matter your political declaration. What we are talking about this morning is about the refusal of a government to yield to the demands of labor relative to fighting Galamsey. It has got nothing to do with the NDC and the MPP. In fact, the NDC is not in power today. And that President Mahama of the NDC has no any authority to fight a Galamsey. The fact still remains that, look, today as we speak, we are dealing with a matter that can wipe all of us away in a very short uh, uh, time. We are talking about a situation where they give birth to babies in these glamsy areas with very serious uh, 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 defects, deformities. In fact, we are told, this one I listened to a medical doctor who operates within that area, uh, from a glamsy area. The, the, the enclave. Yes, the enclave, who talks about they have seen situations where they give birth to children with their eyes on their forehead, multiple limbs, without orifices. These are issues that we must be complaining about. We are talking about a situation where about 13 of our major rivers are compromised completely. We are talking about a situation where 8 out of every kidney-related disease comes from this galamse. Uh, 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 enclaves, and so this is not a matter for the for the for, for us to engage in the NDC and NPP politics with. Today, it is a matter for labor, and the trade union or any of the labor organizations in this country is not an extension of the NDC. They have made specific demands on 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 on, on government. They say one: declare a state of emergency, mm. revoke LI twenty four sixty two and also ramp up efforts to deal with issues of uh, illegal mining, especially around our water bodies and also our forest re reserves. How difficult is this to do? Did President Akufado and the MPP promise to come and destroy our forest reserves? Did they promise to come and compromise our water bodies? Today, the Ghana Water Company is indicating that if nothing is done about our current plight, very soon, we would be importing water into this country. I don't know how many people in this country can afford to get safe drinking water if we were to import it. We just listened to a clip that you, that you just played, where the lady is talking about using sachet water to wash their clothing. It means we are itching towards a situation where we need to import water into this country. How many Ghanaians can afford that? When we talk about the issue of renal-related uh, uh, diseases, do you know the burden, the financial burden on, 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 on individuals and homes and families? Mm. You have no idea, my brother. And so where, where from this NDC hypocrisy, we are saying that, look, President Mahama didn't govern this country with angels. Yes, there were some semblance of, 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 of irresponsible mining. But it was not, look, as recent as November 2022, the NTU, of most of our rivers, especially within the Western Enclave, was barely around 1,006. Today we are talking about 14 to 16,000 NTU. Okay. When, they, when the recommended NTU for processing water is around 50 NTU. In relation to the turbidity level. Exactly. These are the issues that we are, we are talking about. We are not talking about the NDC and the NPP. The call by labor, civil society organizations, the <laughs> clergy is that President Akufado and Dr. Mahmoudou Abaumia must take clear actions to deal with the issue of Galamse. They are unable to do so because they are beneficiaries of illegal mining. Why? We've listened to very prominent members of the NPP. Uh, Dr. Afriye, a sitting member of a parliament, indicate that they will not do what we want them to do. We've listened to him. We've listened to uh, uh, the Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, uh, 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 Duka, indicate that they will not stop uh, Galamse now. Because for them, if they do, they are going to lose uh, uh, elections. And they give the example of how they lost some seats along the 
uh, the many areas in the last elections. When indeed you lost those things because you seized their concessions and gave them to your party big ways. You bend their excavators and that got them angry to vote against you. It's not about fighting Egalamse. No, it has got nothing to do with fighting Egalamse. What I'm saying is that President Akufado and Dr. Mahmoud Ebaumia, and for that matter, the MPP, will not and cannot fight Egalamse because they are deeply engaged in it. Why? This is are engaged in it. Ministers are engaged in it. MPs are engaged in it. People at the Flagstaff House, go and read the report by the former Minister for Science and Environment, uh, uh, Professor Efren Pon Ebwati, where he talked about national executives, regional executives, constituency executives, officials at the Flagstaff House, deeply engaged in Galamse. Didn't we hear from him how Ochidaku, Gabi Ochidaku called him to intervene on, on behalf of, 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 of somebody who was going through some trial? And so I, I, I don't think these guys can stop uh, Galamse. The only way you are just left with some two months to leave office. And you want to, uh, this, uh, they are telling Labour to give them time. What time? When you have only two months to leave office?